Hey guys, it's your favorite girl. It's Crystal Streeter here. I'm coming to you live on Duo Reader, and I'm going to show you guys all about the square and how to use it, okay? And how I have been using it till this day. All right, so here we go. All right, so there's my square app right there, the little white, and it's a white app with the um, the gray box, okay? I'm going to show you how to get it. Okay, it's very important in your paparazzi business. Uh, one of my very important reasons. Um, other people may use PayPal. They may use Venmo, Cash App, Zelle, um, those type of things um, to collect their money for their business. But I particularly like to put all of my money in one spot. Okay, so this is what you're going to do. So first you're gonna go to, what I did, I did it very quickly, didn't I? <laughs> So you're going to go to your Play Store. I have an Android phone, so I'm going to go to my Play Store, whatever app store, um, you have an Apple phone or whatever store you have to get your applications. And I'm going to type in Square and here, I hit Square and the one that you want to click on is the one that says Point of Sale. Okay, the square point of sale, and you can open that one. There is a new one that they did come out with. Um, it is the one for invoicing, billing, and um, and estimates. Um, I have not tried this one yet. Um, I I seen it in the beta phase, but I am not messing with that. <laughs> so the square point of sale, that's the one that you want to download, and it is free. Okay. So once you download it, if this is your first time, um, you can go ahead and order your free F R E E um, square um, stripe or strip uh, reader. It's the one that's going to plug into your phone. Okay. So I'm going to open it. And it's going to take me to where I was a few minutes ago. So, um, reader orders. It's going to take me right here. And how you get how I got there, you guys, once you open up your square, you're going to go to support. You're going to have to set up all of this stuff, okay? So, you're going to have to go to support. And you're going to go to reader orders, okay? And you're going to go to order a reader. And this is the mag strip reader okay this is the free one that is going to come with your square once you get it set up okay so this is the app um and so if you need it you're going to click on it and it's going to take you to another screen and there you go and this is the one that plugs in to your headset jack okay and it looks just like this it's very very small okay and you just swipe the card just like that from your customer It's very 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 small okay um let me see here am i in there yes i am okay so those are different readers you do get one that comes when you sign up and it is free um free shipping arrives in one to two weeks um, it talks about it and so forth and then what you can do yeah you can carry it around like that but what you can do is you just add it to your cart okay um, I already have one so it's probably opening up my account still um, it's still in my account so I already have one it's gonna charge me ten dollars if I wanted another one um, this one is a different type of reader I have this one as well awesome they're giving us 20% off now um, but it's $39 and this is the um, the chip reader okay so if you have a customer that has a chip on their phone um, you just do it just like that insert the chip and or if they have like um, tap pay Apple pay Google pay um, you can just tap it on the reader and it will take their um, their payment okay I love this it comes with everything I love it I love it. I love it but I'm not toting that around okay <laughs> so just to let you know that you can get that as well they have all different kinds of devices for your paparazzi store if you need anything from the square okay so I'm gonna hit my back button and get out of this for a second so yes they have everything here for your um, for your paparazzi store um, now the square reader for contactless and chip it is all through your Bluetooth on your phone so I'm gonna scroll down the top you can see right here where my Bluetooth is the third one from the left it is on 
so um, that is there okay so it runs through Bluetooth the Magnastripe reader it just plugs into your headset jack on your phone um, if you don't have a headset jack on your phone I do require that you go ahead and order the contactless uh, chip reader for the square all right so now you're gonna go to, I'm still clicking back, okay, um, at the top. Now you're gonna go to, hey, Crystal, well, I need to know how to invoice somebody um, with my square. Well, first, you need to, let's set up your square, okay? So, setting up your square is very easy. Um, you're gonna, what kind of payment types, you're gonna go through every single thing, guys and girls, every single thing, one at a time okay everything if it applies to your business okay now payment types I have seven different payment types that I that I accept and they're here I do not accept checks I do not accept gift cards from anyone okay not unless they're my own but that's there okay that is not blue but I accept anything else that is here also um, I put my taxes in here I do have signatures on receipts um, for a reason but they're for purchases that are greater than $25 okay so they can sign on my phone for that um, right here taxes if you charge taxes in your state then you will put your taxes here to create a tax very easy you guys um, uh, quick amounts I don't have that on signature and receipts tipping I always tip I want somebody to always tip me if they think that I'm doing a good job, they like their packaging or whatever. I always have that turned on, okay, um, for tips. Um, and like I said, keep going through. Keep going through the list to get um, to the end, okay? You want to make sure that you have everything checked. If you have any questions, just comment below and I will answer your questions for you, okay? Um, scales cash drawers and all that kind of stuff I don't need any of that um, a scale I have different set up for my printer for shipping um, right here you do want to go down to um, account um, your business information um, this is what you want to make sure um, you have um, set up correctly your business information um, because this is going to be on your receipts basically okay so business information your bank account and transfers okay and all of that can be set up there all right okay so settings is the most important thing now you go to items all items this is where you're going to create your items you guys okay so if you I do blessing boxes every year usually around Christmas time Thanksgiving or something and people can buy blessing boxes for however much they want and I also do them for um, the nursing home um, so fashion fix sets yes they're $20 my gear certificates are variable because it all depends on what amount they want heavy shipping I have different kind of shipping rates um, right here my joint shipping was when I do a joint live with somebody um, kids jewelry my locals um, do the during uh, COVID-19 I'm just charging my locals three dollars um, for shipping um, let me see uh, mystery bag is always $20 um, it has uh, four piece of jewelry in it this mystery paparazzi jewelry you know keep on going you guys can see it right here okay and those are my items okay so that's how you create items you want to do that first categories you really don't need that many categories because I don't have um, where some people add bracelets they add them all to an actual category in their square um, it's all up to you I just did that back in the day I haven't even messed with it modifiers I don't have a modifier discounts I do have I offer free shipping I offer free jewelry and I offer tax free okay so you can create those discounts there by just clicking on create a new discount okay it goes by percentage or money all right so moving right along units I don't even need to even mess with units I don't do that with my business um, to set that up so now we're almost we're really almost done now to create an invoice this is how you can create an invoice create invoice easy click on it at the customer's name 
All right, let's see that. Uh, let's see Miss Mackey. Okay, we're just gonna try one. We're gonna add an item. I already set up my items. So it's paparazzi jewelry. I clicked on it. How many pieces did she buy during my live? She maybe bought six. No, nah, Miss Mackey bought thirteen. She get one free. So I'm gonna say one free. And then I also say like Monday night live. So she'll know and I'll know when it was, okay? So she also gets a free piece of jewelry. Um, so I'm just gonna charge her for 12, okay? So she get one free, cause she bought 13, she get one free. And then down here, if you wanna give her a discount on anything, you can do the discounts right here if you want that make sure every time let me show you this that your sales tax is blue okay you don't have any discounts on here and just make sure that that is there the next item i'm going to click on is all items and I'm going, and she's local so i'm going to give her a three dollar discount on her shipping and then that's her total you can even schedule um, a payment schedule for your customer um, so you can add a payment schedule say she gets paid on you know such and such date um, you can require a percentage or a dollar amount of the deposit um, that they would have to pay up front so I at least need twenty dollars at least need twenty dollars from her to keep her invoice and to keep her jewelry going okay so I can save that and this is what I'm requiring. That is due today, $20. And then her balance is due within 30 days. Um, you can change the due balance um, by going to the square, by going to squareup.com and logging into your website. Okay, because some things you could do on your phone through the app and some things you have to actually do through the actual website. Okay, all right, so we're gonna hit continue. If you wanna add a picture, you can go down there to add attachment to her order. And you see, there's my jewels right there, the queen of jewels. There's my return policy, the shipping, the thank you for shopping if they wanna join or do a party. And there's everything right there. And deposit is unpaid now and is due today. And then once that sends to her, this is all she has to pay, the $20. And then her unpaid balance is due um, June 22nd, okay? It's due within 30 days, okay? But you can change that, like I said, through the um, Square app on the website, okay? So I'm just gonna get out of here and um, not even mess with that. So. That is how you can create your invoices. When you go to transactions, these are your deposits, okay? I have, um, I set up my deposits to be, um, uh, let me see, bank account, uh, nope. My deposits um, automatically go, okay? So if I need, um, they directly deposit, like right away at five o'clock. Okay, so all of that is also on, I believe, I don't see it here, but it's also on your um, squareup.com website, okay? Um, I would have to probably do that in another video, but that's all there. Um, we were just in support, okay? We did support, settings, items, customers. It shows all my customers here alphabetically, and then balance. We don't have any balances do nothing to transfer instant transfers nothing there my reports you can go to sales you can see what you have done in a week one month three months and you can see what you've done in a year you can also change this setting by going to the top I did that really fast by going to this year 2020 and it will show you okay what you have done within the whole year so far okay so it shows you there and it also shows me that i'm down look my previous year at this time was eight thousand i'm at five i need to get it up right and it also shows you guys how many pieces of jewelry you sold because my stuff is labeled everything is labeled if it's paparazzi jewelry it is labeled paparazzi jewelry okay if it's fashion fix it is labeled okay so you make sure that you have your items labeled correctly um any disputes none okay so 
Um, let me see. Orders, no orders. I don't do the order thing. Transactions, went over transaction. Invoices, we did do the invoices just a few minutes ago, okay? If you have, um, you can go right here to all sent and you can see what was all sent, all outstanding, draft, paid, scheduled, unsuccessful means that maybe they gave you a, a phony email address and then archived i do not have to ask my customers for their um for their um address because my system is set up to automatically ask them their address at the moment that let me show you at the moment that they make a payment okay so it always asks them that let me go back and do this really quick i'm going to show you um let me see add nope not another recipient add an item let's see can i show you this paparazzi jewelry let's do like three pieces and then of course you know and see there's the request i tip it shows my taxes here the subtotal um let me see. If you want to make the invoice reoccurring, you can do that. Um, let's go here. Let me hit continue. Yes, on this screen, I send out five reminders. Um, the first reminder is one day after the due date, um, three days after the due date, and four days after the due date. Okay, and you can edit those. Okay, and I mine says order canceled. Four days after due date, honey, I'm done. Okay, <laughs> especially if you don't tell me what's up. Um, and you send the invoice immediately. Okay. Um, I think that's what I wanted to show you, but I don't see it. But yes, everything is sent through email. You can do a URL, um, and send it to them manually. Okay. But yes, so that's everything through the Square app. That is the Square application, okay? So I hope that helped you guys with the Square application. Um, the library is down here at the bottom and it shows you just everything right here um, that is in my items list. Hope you enjoyed. This is Crystal Streeter signing off with another great tutorial of the Square. Bye.